Okay, here you can see my wires coming out for my <clears throat> that will uh, hook to my trailer hitch. These are the wires that are on the universal isolator from um, Rivco. You can see I've got five wires, a brown, a green, a black, uh, looks like an orange and a blue. And I've got my uh, little sheet here uh, showing my isolator wires and my bush tech wires and how they're supposed to match up. So hopefully, if this is correct, um, we should be good to go. The only thing missing is we don't have an auxiliary wire <clears throat> on this isolator. Um, and that basically runs like the interior lights on the bush tech. Not many trailers even have that. So I'm, I'm going to come up with another way to, to get an auxiliary wire back to the Bush Tech trailer. But for now, these are going to connect to my Bush Tech pigtail. Let me go get that and I'll show it to you. As you can see, I got this from Bush Tech. This will mate up to the uh, connector on my trailer. And as you can see, this connector has six wires. Uh, the black wire, we're not going to use. That's the one on the Bush Tech for the accessory. But we will be using the green, the blue, the yellow, the white, and the brown. And then we'll mate these up. I'm going to strip these wires back. I'm going to strip these wires back. You could use butt connectors for this, but I'm actually going to solder these wires because I think it's going to give us a better connection overall, a little bit more durable, a little tougher, and I'll show you how I do my soldering. Okay, what I did here is I've kind of twisted my wire and I kind of poked a hole right in the center of the wires using a little a pick. I use a little uh, angled pick here. And then what I'm going to do, uh, this is on the Bush Tech harness. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire from the uh, isolator and I'm going to slip it through that little hole. And then we're going to twist all this together and uh, might be kind of hard to see there. I'm going to twist all this together like this. This just kind of slips in there like that. Twist it together and solder it really good. Of course, I'll have a, uh, a heat shrink tubing so I can slide it over and then we'll shrink it down. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and twist all these wires together and test it on the trailer because I want to make sure uh, that everything works as it's supposed to. Here you can see the wires twisted together uh, like I showed you before. And then in the next shot, you can see what it looks like after I've applied the solder. Now you can see that I've got the shrink wrap or the heated shrink uh, tubing installed on these. And then here you can see what it looks like uh, with the heated shrink tubing after it's been heated and shrunk to the wires. The last step was to wrap all of these wires coming out of the isolator up to the Bush Tech hitch. And I'm using a silicone tape. You could use electrical tape. I just like the silicone tape because it, it's not sticky when you remove it. My objective is to hide this plug when we're not using it on the trailer. So what I'm going to do, you can see the wire comes out here. I'm kind of going behind the, the, uh, the tongue here. I've got my dual lock fasteners already on here. Now, if you can see how this works, it's kind of like Velcro, but it's plastic. It's weatherproof, really tough stuff, and it works really well. And I think what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to peel off this tape, and I'm going to stick it to the underside of the fender. So I'm just going to kind of tuck it up like this and just kind of stick it up there to the inside of the fender, and it'll be out of the way. So when it comes time to use the trailer, I can just reach up there, peel off that dual stick, that dual lock uh, fastener and you know hook it up to my trailer and I'm ready to go. So let's get that done. I've already cleaned the underside of that fender with alcohol so it's a clean surface. So let's see if I can't get this to stick. It's just my way of hiding it. You could there's other ways you could do it. This is just what I prefer to do. So I've got it sticking on there now. Hopefully that dual lock 3M fastener 
will stick. Now you have to remember, of course, anytime you take off this fender, you're going to have to go up there and reach up there and unhook that, that dual lock fastener. So let's see if I can... So there's my installation. You can see, you can't even see the wire hanging down anyway. You can see a little bit, little bit of it over here. And I've zip tied it over here to the hitch receiver. Um, so it's pretty much hidden. Just uh, tacked it to the back of that uh, fender on the inside where you can't see it. Let's see if I can get a camera up there and get a picture of it. So let's take a look here. You can see it's pretty hard to even see the wire harness. You can see a little bit of it there, you know, but really the connector is completely hidden out of the way. Let's see if I can get this camera to go up there and get a picture of it. You can kind of see where it is right there. It's just kind of stuck to the back of the of the fender. And now we'll see if it will come loose. Let's see, let me go underneath it here and look up. You can kind of see where it is there. Okay. Okay, so let's see if I can get it off now. So I'll just reach up there and I should be able to just kind of pop it off with that dual lock fastener. And there it comes. Now, <clears throat> it's a good idea to keep another piece of this and cover this up after you've taken it off so that it doesn't get a bunch of mud and dirt and grime in here. What I'll probably do is set it up to where this goes up in here somewhere and attaches so that when I'm using the trailer, it's, it's also not just hanging down, dangling. So I may put another piece of dual lock under here so it sticks like that, and then we can hook our trailer connector to it like that. That should work.